Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be making these chocolate cups with chocolate spoons but if you don't want to make the chocolate spoons I'm going to show you how to make it with the wooden spoons as well. These make delicious hot chocolate so all you do is warm up a glass of milk, stir one of these chocolate cups in there and they taste amazing. It's a very easy tutorial so let's get started. So if you do want to make the spoons you are going to need these molds here which are just chocolate silicon molds which I've purchased off eBay and you are going to need the piping bag so if you go on eBay that's what you're looking for and then once you've got them we'll get started. So you're going to have to either use tempered chocolate or compound chocolate and whichever way you go for you can now um, once you've melted your chocolate you can now decorate them so add some squiggles on some. I'm going to um, fill up some of them with the handle, some with just the top part of the spoon because I want two tones. But make sure when, that whenever you put some chocolate in your mold that you tap your mold and you want to tap it quite a few times to release any air bubbles also to smooth out your chocolate. So these ones here that I've only filled halfway, I'm going to leave them on the table to set for about seven minutes and then I'm going to melt some white chocolate and I'm going to fill it in to give me two tones. So I'm just picking areas that I want the milk chocolate in and and then we'll just do the two tones later. So once you have finished doing this, you're going to leave it on the table. Don't put it in the fridge, just on the table for about seven minutes to firm up. And then once it's firmed up, we're going to melt some white chocolate. And now these ones I'm just doing plain white chocolate spoons. But the ones that, as you can see, they've hardened up now because they've been on the table for about seven minutes. And now I'm going to add my white chocolate on them. And then when I add the white chocolate, I'm going to get those two tones. So adding up white chocolate, it's filling up the gaps and going all through the spoon just to level off my spoons. And then if you've got too much chocolate, just get a spatula and run it through. And then those thin parts of the white chocolate, when you release the spoons, they're going to break off because they're too thin anyway. Now put them in the fridge for 20 minutes. Now while the spoons are firming up, we're going to make our cups. So with the cups, you're going to add your melted chocolate, put it in the piping bag. And these cups I've just bought from the supermarket in the party section. They're just normal plastic disposable cups. Uh, cut off a tip on your piping bag and now fill up the chocolate. Now you can make this um, as high and tall as you want or as little as you want. You can use the lines on the plastic cup as guidelines if you want them all to be the same size. And then once we fill them up, we're going to tap them completely again to get rid of any air bubbles and also to level out the top. You're going to tap them completely and gently. And then we're going to leave them on the table to firm up for about seven minutes, seven to eight minutes you want them on the table. So tapping them off clearing nice and thing. If you want like a two-toned effect you can um, you can scrape chocolate with a paintbrush if you want to get like certain areas or if you want like this effect just tilt it up and down so you've just got like it kind of pouring but whatever whichever way you do it you have to leave it seven minutes to cool down and completely kind of set before you add your other color. So that's just going to give me like a pouring effect. Now this has been on the table for about seven minutes and now I'm going to put my spoon in and because the chocolate is firm, it's not set, it's just firm. It's firm enough to hold the spoon into place. So that's what you want when you're putting your spoons in. You want the chocolate to be firm and that's why you don't want to put it in the fridge because the fridge can quickly set it up too fast. So as you can see, these have only been on the table for about seven minutes and the spoons are going in. You can tilt the spoons, put them on an angle, do whatever you want with them. And then once you have your spoons in, they're going in the fridge for 20 minutes and you need them in the fridge for 20 minutes so they're completely hardened and they're completely set so then we can remove them. Now with my other cups I'm going to release the spoons out of the molds which are really really easy. Uh, you can make these spoons if you want even days in advance you don't have to do them on the same day I'm just doing them on the same day um, but if you want to prepare the spoons first do the spoons first and then that way you've got the spoons ready when you're making your cups so releasing them is very very simple because silicone molds are extremely flexible so all you're doing is just basically popping them out just um, stretching the mold and popping them out and um, that's a really fun and easy way to make um, chocolate spoons if you want you can add decorations now so you can get a piping bag cut the tip off and start adding some squirrels or some flowers or draw anything on them um, whatever you want to do with them now's the time if you want to add some I've bought the pre-bought these um chocolate these um love hearts from my supermarket and you're just gonna put a bit of melted chocolate on the back of them and stick them on wherever you want and then the melted chocolate on chocolate is bit pretty much a strong glue and those love hearts won't be going anywhere but you can use hundreds and thousands if you want you can really use whatever um decorations you want to release them out of the plastic cups you're making a big cut with some scissors and just cutting the disposable cup and they just pull out and that's to release them 
and they've hardened for about 20 minutes so they're easy to get out um, of the moulds. If you have trouble getting them out, they're obviously not set. So make sure they've been in the fridge for 20 minutes to 25 minutes um, so they're completely hardened. If during the process of them you break any spoons, if you're doing it with a chocolate spoon and the chocolate spoons break off, um, all you're going to do is you can it's to, for two ways either if they break off or if you don't know when is the right time to put the chocolate spoon this is another way you can fix it you're making a little hole so you're going to make a hole big enough for the spoon to be able to fit in just the top part of the spoon or it depends how deep you want to go but let's just say for example we're just going to make a little hole we're just going to stick it in but if you want the spoon to be right in you're going to make the hole obviously bigger then you're going to get some melted chocolate and you're going to dip in your spoon and you're going to dip and um, put it in where you've made that little hole and within a couple of seconds chocolate to chocolate glues on really fast you've pretty much um, fixed up your spoon and you can put that in the fridge for about five minutes to completely firm up so that's another way um, if you want to add the spoons if you can't find the right time so if you want to learn how to make that chocolate little basket that I've got the spoon sitting on there is another video which I'll put the link on the description box below if you want to make that one um, if you want to take this as a present that would be, that'd be gorgeous as a present you can just wrap them up with some cellophane and put a ribbon on top and you can put it like a little basket you can fill them up fill up the basket um, you can get all different types of cellophane bags um, that's if you want to take it as a little gift somewhere so there's the chocolate cups and chocolate spoons that we've made today it's a very quick and easy fun um, tutorial it's really fun to make these so I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video I hope you give me a like or share the video I will be trying to upload two to three videos a week so thank you very much for watching. Um, please don't forget to share and subscribe my videos. And if you like them, um, give me a thumbs up. Um, thanks again for watching. And I hope you learned something from this video. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks again. See you later. Bye.